All right, so what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, what we're gonna be talking about is a artist that has the the embodiment of hey, look at what I can do. That's Jacob Collier. Now, I'm not. I, I've known about Jacob for a long time. My choir teacher actually showed him, and he actually showed a couple of his videos uh, talking about like music theory um, and like just overall his skills and he's a very talented musician that there's no doubt about it Jordy put eyeliner on me so like i i don't know she's like oh my god you're so hot so jacob collier like i said he knows music he, he has so much knowledge of it it's just that i think he has so much knowledge of it that it fucks him up i actually don't think this song is that bad It's not bad, but then... Oh, yeah, I was actually, um, I was wondering, do you guys have any... No, dude. It's Willow Smith, too. It's not great. And then she put Shun Sunshine. Oh my god, I'm sorry, this song made me- She put sunshine into my silhouette Was feeling heavy and she got me drunk instead <laughs> that, She got me drunk! Like, how can you have so much knowledge of something but create something so bad? That would be like if I read a book and all I got from the book was like explaining something really, really well but that thing I was explaining really, really well was the cover of the book. There's a lot of- This guy has a similar to the diction that he has is similar to Vessel and sort of, but I don't know something about it. Um, I don't know if it's his, the production on his vocals, but he just sounds super weird. I do make music. Um, you can follow my SoundCloud. What? Whenever I don't know, whenever I make music, I just feel like I try to make the least corniest sounding thing. Um, especially when I sing in a song because when I sing in a song, I don't want to sound corny or weird I think he's a great musician. Just the songs are not evident of that Yeah, this song sucks first Yeah, no, I don't want to listen to a song Let me pause this shit. Oh, la, la. I want to listen to a song for two minutes and then a part happens. That's kind of cool Especially with each song being so saturated with so much shit. <laughs> like, the 100,000 voices, like, the coolest part is, like, a minute into the song where he's kind of, like, it kind of reminds me of, like, um, a classic, like, uh, jingle pop rock song. I thought it said Tom McDonald here. I would have been like, that's wild. He's like, I want you, baby. I want you. Uh, white people didn't do anything on God. And that's Tom McDonald, by the way. It's just like, I don't know, target pop. I guess you're getting your target audience that way. Marketing 101 with Logan. Yeah, that song wasn't that bad. I, I don't think that's too bad. By the way, the way I listen to music is that... Uh, okay. I can take things in really easily. Easily. I can take in music really easily. Um, now, like, there's moments, instances, rare moments that a song I don't like on the first listen, then I get back into it, and then I really like it. But when I know something's up, like, this, most of this I've listened to has made me go, uh. And when I, when that happens, you just don't want to listen to it. It's just boring, I think. I don't know, there's nothing really... I don't know here. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a lot of... I don't know. It's boring, man. Someone will like this. I know that. I mean, it's 3.5 million listeners. This is a really long album. An hour and nine minutes. If you have an hour and nine minutes... If you have an hour and a half to kill, just listen to uh, Mastodon on Vatten by Villarda. Yeah, there's just no texture. It's like... Man, there's just no flavor. It's just a bunch of white people making shitty music. Actually, not really white. I mean, you can never judge, you know, because, like, people think I'm just white, but I'm Puerto Rican, so, you know. Let me not be racist, racist. here. I, I don't know. This song had a lot of soul to it. Never mind. Maybe I'm wrong. It felt like something that I have, like, about Michael McDonald. Really? I don't know. That felt like, I don't know. Uh, 
I've listened to a lot of music with people of color in it, especially uh, I sing in choir. A lot of the songs that we go over, um, we sing a lot of spirituals, um, which is like uh, uh, kind of the evolution from like uh, slave uh, slave songs um, from that time, and then they got into spirituals, and then they were singing in the church, um, mainly from people of color. And so a lot of the like uh, like those vocal harmonies where they stack on each other is very. I think it's it was popular popularized by people of color. Um, I could be wrong, but yeah, that's what I think. Um, as a white man in America. This kind of sounds cool. I'm on a love song. Why would you have such a sick intro and then mess it up by the fucking piano? You already had a piano ballad before. Why? <laughs> Now, by the way, I don't hate pop. I love some pop. I mean, I love Olivia Rodrigo. She's my queen. No song goes anywhere, dude. Why does no song in this album really go anywhere aside from the first, like, couple songs? There's no form. There's no... It's not like... There's no PEMDAS in this album. There's no... There's no... Holy fucking shit. What the fuck? Oh, no. What? What the fuck? You know what he sounds like? He sounds like Pop Smoke. Hey. Abadaba. Oh, my God. How the fuck do you suck at making music, Jacob? Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? I'm so pissed off right now. I swear, if I hear more fucking... Ah! It's like the Callous Dow Boys if they fucking sucked. This is actually like fucking shitty math court. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is actually horrendous. Yeah, fuck, fuck you, Jacob. <laughs> fuck you, Jacob. You messed me, you messed me up. Because, like I said, he's like, look at what I can do. So he can do anything with music, and it just is a overwhelming glob of an album. Jacob Collier is a goofy, funny guy that has a lot of talent, but he's not a good artist. But I didn't know it would be this bad. So, I think... I think I'm gonna give this, um, a 1 out of 10. Um, actually, no. 4 out of 10. Yeah, no, not four. What's that word? Four out of a hundred. No, the Jesse volume four. Thus, I give it a four, a four out of a hundred. I said choir assignments and stuff. And he's not, he doesn't give bad adv advice. He just sucks at composing. Logan Suter, you're watching Loudwire, um, and I'm out of here.